I think that there needs to be a big conversation about who the neural data belongs to. Um, at this point, all of my data belongs to Neuralink. And like, I don't mind that right now. Um, I think it's a study. I think that they, you know, I volunteered for this. Um, it is not something that I feel like I have any sort of um, right to at this point. If I didn't want them to have my data, then I should just like, I guess if I don't want them to have my data, I should just leave the study and, you know, I'll take the rest of my neural data and keep it to myself. Um, but it is a study. I want them to learn as much as possible. So um, I, I want them to have as much as they can get out of it. Moving forward, when people are paying for this, um, when, yeah, when it is owned, it is a piece of their property, I guess. Um, I think I would love to not go down the road that a lot of other technology has gone down as far as like collecting people's data and selling it or um, collecting people's data without their knowledge. Um, I, I am, I think that we need to be much more careful with this in regards to that, because it's not just what people are, you know, tapping on their phone, where they're scrolling on their phone, um, kind of where their eyes gaze on their phone. Like those things are very intimate and very personal. And I don't believe those should really be collected either, but this is like your mind we're talking about. Um, I think there's something much more wrong about um, taking that data and collecting it and studying it or selling it to the highest bidder. Um, I don't, I would not want that uh, to be a future um, that we go down. 